Hello everyone, welcome back to RevGD Rust blog series for Rust projects. Uh, this will be a quick and short video to go over a simple uh, My MySQL CRUD application. Uh, this one is also based off of a Golang <laughs> YouTube uh, video and um, I will provide the reference to the actual video as well as the source code that I'm gonna go over in this video in the video description below um, let's start with with the libraries that we will be using um, so just like uh, previous video uh, we are sticking to tide web framework it's to uh, expose four endpoints for this CRUD statement for creating, reading, updating, and deleting the data. Uh, besides Tide, other important things, of course, Sarday, because we, we will have to uh, serialize and deserialize the data. Uh, but one important thing is Diesel. So Diesel is uh, an ORM for Rust projects. And I believe they have support for four databases. I, I know they have uh, MySQL or MariaDB uh, and SQLite, as well as I guess one or two more databases. So these are the four main um, project or four main libraries that we'll use. Next. Let's see, what do we have next here? So next we, um, next we can look at the probably the mod Dot rs so we creating a model which is basically our uh, database table object representation uh, so we have a table name book in our database and um, table name book with simple columns ID name of the book author and publication and um, here is a some sample data in that database we have uh, data structure book software engineering and just a book science 3 or whatever so this is some test data in there and so we have to create um, uh, this class or structure by hand uh, if you are using diesel there are certain steps uh, of course there is a very really good documentation about diesel online I'll uh, add the link to that one in the video description as well so you install the diesel CLI and then uh, you can generate the schema so the schema is generated like this this is automatically so you just run the command once you have the connection string set up it will generate this one for you and uh, yeah so so once you have the schema and the model, then next one, um, as you are discussing, we're gonna create some routes. So basically we have a get route to get all books. So this is the read part of the CRUD. Then we have, uh, we can get all books or we can get book for individual ID. They can, we can create or insert a new book. We can update and lastly we can delete a book so these are some of the endpoints or the routes for this one and um, then for the implementation for uh, these routes this is mostly uh, simple diesel code so we are using mysql connection here and um, basically we need to include the diesel basic libraries and um, 
yeah from the tide we're just getting the body and request so once the request comes in for the create book um, we are reading what data is being passed in create the connection so I create a helper method for the connection and then we just call it diesel insert into so you just need to provide um, your data and reference to your model and then it will execute using the connection and we I'm just printing out simply you know what was the book that was just added next one is update book pretty simple uh, similar code we are um, just getting the data create the connection and difference between insert and this one of course we have to first find the book to see if that exists in this case I'm not doing a lot of error handling just trying to keep things simple so assuming you provide the right ID it will find the book and then it will call the diesel update so we are provide the target the object that we just found and then we have the new values so we just provide the whole object and call the execute on the connection next get all books and uh, get book by ID uh, it will be pretty similar only difference is we are getting all books or the ID so we get the connection and then we just call um, load method on the connection it will return all books and in case of finding or getting book for a specific ID uh, we pass the ID from the UI or from the uh, our test application and um, we are calling find instead of the load and provide the find uh, which book ID we want to find and get the first again uh, just for the simplicity sec, um, sake I'm not um, adding any error handling because there will be situations if there was uh, no book found that you're trying to get so I'm just unwrapping it but of course we can do all those kind of checks in Rust. Uh, delete uh, we simply are just like uh, the get book ID or the update we are calling the book find method so this will return the book that we want to find and then we call the delete on that one and last but not least this is the connection helper method so all the other methods were public and these are the routes but this is just a helper method that will be used by all these other methods so um, I'm using dotnet uh, dot environment so basically you create a dot env file in your root project you keep your database connection in there and um, I exclude that from the github uh, check-in or GitLab check-in using a git ignore file so my database URL with the password etc will stay in the .env file I'm reading that one in and then I create the database connection and lastly um, that's the main um, yeah, that's, <coughs> that's the main project uh, I remove these comments from the actual uh, file that I have uploaded in the source control but anyway so we start the main project and um, and then we create the web server on port 9009 and that's it like since we already set up all the routes routes that I already showed so we are setting routes in the routes module we just pass the uh, we just pass our application object to this setup routes and uh, then we go from there um, we already saw the database table is pretty simple not much here just ID name author and now um, I have the web server already up and running so we can try to get all the books first um, so for this one we can get so 
get all books and let's just run it so it should return all the books so we get one two and three uh, next we can just try to get a, a specific book so we can say the book ID that we know so we know there is one two and three so let's try just the book ID two so it returns specific book that we want um, next we can create a new book so this will be long so we have to provide the JSON in there let me move it to a different window okay so this is how it will look like so we copied the whole thing uh, should I change it let's let's see so we have software engineering and book science 3 so let's create a book science 4 book science 4 let's call it test author 4 and test publication 4 so we will create this one go back clear just enter and it's a new book name is book science 4 let's do the book all so we can see id4 has been created successfully um and we can verify and i sql as well so um book four is created book science four so next we can try to update let's update the same one so we're gonna <coughs> update um let's change the name from book science four to four four Let's call it this and of course let's add that over there too so let's see if it works so I'll copy this whole thing okay updated book name four so let's just get the last one so yeah we can see four four is appended uh, last but not so let's do the cleanup so we'll just delete this book for we just created and before we delete it let's verify one more time in our database that um, it does exist yes 44 and um, let's just copy it here and I want to delete book 4 delete book count is one so it has been deleted if I try to get it does not return anything if I go back and uh, verify in the database so um, the row has been deleted uh, that will be it for today's session I hope you will find it useful and um, I'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye